Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are keeping well. So, my name is Priyanka Singh and I am your science teacher. Today I am here to start with the 8th chapter of class 8 science and the name of this chapter is Cell Structure and Functions. So, let's start this topic. Cells are the building blocks of life. All living things are made up of cells. Houses are made up of bricks stuck together. Similarly, plants and animals are built upon cells stuck together. Cells is the structural and functional unit of life. Cells form the lowest level of organization which has life. This level of organization is called cellular level. There are many different kinds of cells. Each kind of cell performs a scientific function. To study the structure of a cell and its organelles, we need special tools because each cell is too small to be seen with our naked eye. We will therefore familiarize ourselves with the tools to carry out our study of a cell. Discovery of Microscope The simplest microscope is a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass is also called simple microscope, but its magnification is not powerful enough to enable us to see a cell. Therefore, we use microscopes for this purpose. There are a number of microscopes which magnify objects to different size. Magnification of a simple microscope may be around 10 to 25. The magnification of a microscope about 5000 can be easily obtained in a good quality compound microscope. A compound microscope is used for testing blood, stool and sputum of patients for the study of the cells and tissues of plants and animals. So students, these are some pictures. So the first picture is of hand lens and the second one is simple microscope and the third one is compound microscope. In the most common microscope, light is used as a source of illumination. Such microscope where light is used are light microscopes. Light microscopes have two lenses. Light microscopes which have two lenses, eyepiece and objective lenses. For magnification are called light compound microscopes. If there is only one lens used in the microscopes, it is called light simple microscopes. In the school, these two types of microscopes are often used. Their magnification ranges from 400 to 450 times the size of actual specimen. With advancement, electron microscopes was built having magnification power of more than 50,000 times. In electron microscope, electron beam is used instead of light rays. The cell is the structural and functional unit of life. It forms the lowest level of organization called the cellular level. There are various types of cell. A cell cannot be viewed by a naked eye. It can be seen only through a microscope. Cell were first seen by Robert Hooke, who was an Englishman. The initial discovery was made by observing sizes of cork under a microscope when they appeared like small boxes making up a honeycomb structure. Now we are moving towards the cell theory. The cell theory was put forward by two German scientists, Matthias Jacob Schleiden and Theodor Schwann in 1839. According to this theory, all living things, whether plants or animals, are made up of cells. All cells are similar in basic structure, but functions are different. New cells develop from old cells. Rudolf Virchow added this to the cell theory. The function of cell depends on the way an organisms work. Shape and size of the cell. The cell have different shapes and size depending on the functions they perform. For example, nerve cells have fibers which may be over a meter long. Cells of the muscles are long and thin. This is because they have to contract and relax. The skin cells have a flat shape so that they can provide protection over a longer area. 
white blood cells are capable of changing their shape. This helps them in engulfing the germs while destroying them. Plant cells have a thick cell wall so that they can provide strength to the plant. The cell in the plants which store food are larger than the normal ones. The egg of a bird is a single cell. The largest cell is an ostrich egg. The smallest cell is a type of bacteria called mycoplasma. A typical cell measures around 0.02 mm in diameter. There are some cells like WBCs which do not have a fixed shape. Amoeba, an irregular single celled organism, has pseudopodia which keeps changing its shape. So students, this is the diagram showing cells of various types. So cells are looking like these. So it's time for activity. In order to observe the basic components of the cell, take an onion bulb. Remove the dry pink covering peels. You can easily separate these from the fleshy white layers of the bulb. Place a small piece of the thin onion peel in a drop of water on a glass slide. The thin layer can be cut into smaller pieces with the help of blade. Add a drop of methylene blue solution to the layer and place cover ship on it. Ensure that there are no air bubbles on the cover slip. Observe the slide under the microscope. You can identify the cell membrane, the cytoplasm and nucleus. Now, structure of a cell. Structure of a cell. Cells vary in their shape and size. They might vary in their structure. However, a typical cell as discussed below has a number of organelles. This is a picture of generative cell. Now, cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance that make up most part of a cell. All life-giving processes take place in the cytoplasm cell organelles are present in the cytoplasm. Cell membrane and cell wall. The cytoplasm is surrounded by a thin membrane called the cell membrane or plasma membrane. The cell membrane performs the basic functions. Separate the cell from its surrounding. Protects the cell. Give a proper shape to the cell. Allows water and other necessary substances to pass through it. Plant cells contain cells wall along with the cell membrane. This is to provide extra strength to the plant cell. Nucleus. Nucleus is found suspended in the cytoplasm as a squamous or oval shaped body. It is surrounded by a thin membrane called the nuclear membrane. The nucleus is located at the center of the cell in animal cells. It controls the vital functions of the cells. It consists of four major parts. They are nuclear membrane. It allows the passage of certain materials in and out of the nucleus. Nucleoplasm, a dense fluid present in the nucleus. Nucleolus, it is a spherical body present at the center of the nucleus. It contains RNA, that is ribonuclei acid. Chromosomes, there are thread-like structures present in the nucleus. Chromosome contain DNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid, which contains the basic hereditary units called genes. The nucleus of the bacterial cells is not well organized like the cell of multicellular organisms. There is no nuclear membrane. The cells having nuclear material without nuclear membrane are termed as prokaryotic. Pro. Pro means primitive. Karyon means nucleus. Examples are bacteria and blue-green algae. The cell having a well-organized nucleus with a nuclear membrane are termed as eukaryotic in which eu means good, karyon means nucleus cells. All organisms other than bacteria and blue-green algae are eukaryotic. No membrane-bound organelles are present in prokaryotic cell but present in eukaryotic cells. It's time for activity to study an animal cell. Gently scrap the inner side of your cheek with a toothpick. 
put the scrap paint on a glass slide add a drop of methylene blue this makes it easier to see the cell under a microscope place a cover slip on it and examine the slide under a microscope cell organelles mitochondria commonly known as a powerhouse of the cell it produces energy by the oxidation of food it is present in both plant cell and animal cell endoplasmic reticulum helps in transportation of substances within the cell ribosomes they are responsible for protein synthesis they are present in both plant and animal cell golgi bodies they synthesize store and secrete many substances lysosomes they are present in animal cell and help in cellular digestion centrosomes they are present only in animal cell they are responsible for cell division vacuoles these are clear spaces surrounded by a thin membrane they are responsible for shortage of food they are prominent and large in plant cell but small and not prominent in animal cell plastids they occur only in plant cell they are of three types a chloroplasts chloro green they contain chlorophyll present in leaves which gives them a green color they help in photosynthesis b chromoplasts chromo color they are colored they provide color to flowers and fruits c leucoplasts leuco white they are colorless and help in storage of food potato tuber so now this table is depicting the comparison between plant and animal cell so plant cell animal cell first it has rigid non living cell wall cell wall is absent second usually has a large vacuole vacuoles are either absent or small in size third plastids are present plastids are absent fourth centrosomes are absent centrosomes are present fifth food stored as starch food stored as glycogen so students these are the two diagrams this one is of a structure of a plant cell and that one is a structure of a animal cell so go through it microscope cells of plants and animals can be seen only when observed through the microscope as we all know the microscope that we use in the laboratory to view the cells is called the compound microscope figure shows the different parts of the compound microscope and this is the picture of a glass slide this is the picture of a compound microscope showing different parts of it and this is a glass slide how to use a microscope the object to be observed is known as the specimen make a thin film of a specimen on a glass slide cover the specimen film with a cover slip place the glass slide on the stage bring the glass slide near the objective lens and focus on the specimen using the coarse adjustment knob view the specimen through the eye piece bring the specimen into better focus using the fine adjustment knob now there is an activity its aim is to observe onion peel under the microscope and material required are onion glass slide blade water cover slip needle forceps iodine solution microscope procedure slice an onion and take out one of the thick scales from inside use forceps to pull away the thin lining from the inner surface of the scale use a blade to cut a small piece from it place it flat on a drop of water on a glass slide add a drop of iodine solution and with the help of a needle gently place a cover slip on it ensuring that no air bubbles are trapped under the cover slip observe the slide under a microscope conclusion will be the onion 
plant cell has a rigid cell wall and a nucleus in the cytoplasm. So students there is another activity and this activity's aim is to observe the cheek cell under the microscope. Material required is two glass slides, one toothpick, cover slip, methylene blue and a microscope. Procedure Gently scrap the inside of your cheek with a toothpick. Put the scrapping on a glass slide. With the help of another glass slide, drag the cheek scrapings on the glass slide to make a thinner layer. Add a drop of methylene blue. Place a cover slip on it. Observe the slide under the microscope. Observation Irregular shaped cells are seen under the microscope. And the conclusion will be cheek cells are irregular shape, no prominent cell wall, but with a nucleus in the cytoplasm. So students, it's time for Reader's Digest. All living things are made up of the cells. Cells are the structural and functional units of life. Cell was first observed by Robert Hooke in a cork. Some cells like the eggs of a bird can be seen through a naked eye. Plastides are present only in plant cells. Plant cells have a large vacuole. Some cells like nerve cells are very long. So students, it's time to take your leave and we'll meet in the next class. Bye.